I've lived around here a lot of my life, and I can never remember this church being used. It's at the end of Kirby Road. It really feels like inner city London in this area, like with just little playgrounds like this, um, next to a big row of old houses. But this church is massive. Now, it was up for sale a few years ago, but I really do not know what has happened with it now, if anything, like some of it's still boarded up. It certainly doesn't look like it's in use to me. This is the entrance to it, by the looks of the main entrance, and there's a massive bolt on there. So I've not got a clue, but I'm going to show you Kirby Road now. As always, thanks for watching um, my tours of Leicester. Please hit subscribe if you're interested in more of this sort of stuff, and then hit the bell, and you'll get notified as soon as a new video comes online. Kirby Road is quite unusual. It's part of the St Paul's Conservation Area, um, and it's like a one-way street that has then a main road running right next to it. Um, look, um, that would have been put in at a later date. But the houses are quite impressive. Um, some of them do need a fair amount of work doing, though. This is the type of house that we deal with down here. Anyone need a rabbit hutch? Um, loads of work. It looks like it's been done to that one, but it's all just been left in the front garden. Not really what you want on your own driveway. But look, they're really impressive. Three-storey in the main terraced villas. There is a little bit of an issue with some side of this down here. I remember dealing with one of these houses a few years ago and uh, the survey came back with a little bit of a subsidence issue. But yeah, look, it's like, there's just a wall there and then there's a main road the other side. This is one way coming down here. You'll see the one way sign just there. Could be like a really nice street, uh, but a lot of it has gone to rental now, like stacks and stacks and stacks. And there is quite a few HMOs or houses of multiple occupancy down here. But again, look, they are very, very impressive. With it being a conservation area though, you can't do as much to them as you would like just a normal house. Um, oh, there's a little cut through here to Merton Avenue. Let me show you this. So if you come down here, this is a really nice old traditional street in Leicester. There's not many like this. So this is Merton Avenue, as you can see. It's got the name above the road there. Really unusual street. It is a private road. Um, don't think it's adopted by the council. Residents only parking down here. Really nice old house. I've dealt with two or three down here. One being the end house, which I'll show you in a moment. Again, this is in the conservation area, so you do have to be careful doing stuff down here. Parking um, is challenging, to say the least. Um, most of them sort of have a space on the front, but not really. To the end of the street, it does get really interesting. Because um, you've got this house here which is huge compared to all the others, um, full of character there. And then you've got that house there, which I actually dealt with a few years ago. Um, lovely plot size, tucked away at the end of the cul-de-sac, um, obviously built after all of these other houses. But yeah, you won't see many streets like this in Leicester. So that's Merton Avenue. Then back along this walkway, back onto Kirby Road to have a look at more traditional Leicester streets. So all around here is just Victorian terraced housing in the main, apart from the odd one or two, like that big detached one I just showed you a few minutes ago, all built between sort of, I don't know, like 1880 and 1910. Um, all the streets off here are like that. So this is Kirby Road, I've showed you Merton Avenue, and then you've got like Muriel Road, Bolton Road, Carlisle Street, um, Henton Road, they're all the same. I'll show you a couple now. Henton Road has some really nice houses on it, quite interesting down the other end there. You can see there's one up for sale at the moment. And then this end, you've got some businesses um, that have been uh, used in the either old houses or old shops. I mean, that, that is a really impressive building there. I don't know what it's used for now. And then you can actually walk through here to the next street down. If you look at some of the older buildings just here though, look, just the, the history that these would have had. Um, someone obviously doesn't want people to get in, all the barbed wire. You've got a door up there at the top of that outbuilding at the back. Like, what is that for or what was it used for? If those walls could talk, it'd be so interesting. Another little cut through here. There's loads of little alleyways around this part of town. Um, just try and get my bearings. I think this is Bolton Road. Yeah, this is Bolton Road. And uh, I think we'll save this for another day.